Hi, I'm Sharon the Busy Coupon B. And uh, if you can notice, oh, wrong hand. If you can notice right there, right there, that right there, I had the sun is shining so bright, and I love bright sunshine in the winter time that um, I couldn't make the video because it was just, I mean, it's just bright like that. And so I had to make it um, covered up with some of my newspapers. So, no, those are not my curtains, you know. Anyhow, but it was a time when they might have been mine, but not today. Okay, first of all, I have to make a confession. I don't know if you all saw my video from last week where the lit girl had the great big long receipt for all her stuff that she got at ShopRite. I mean at ShopRite, at CVS. She, she must have had six or seven foot long receipt with nothing but um, extra bucks rewards on it. I was so jealous. I want to snatch it, but it wouldn't work with my card, so I didn't, mean, hey, you know. And I was going to come back. She was so, she was really good because she was there the night before. And a lot of people don't realize that you can go actually go the night before um, after like 6, 5 or 6 o'clock on a Saturday. And you can get the, actually get your deals for the following week. So if you have your um, coupons and stuff already, you can go ahead and do that. Well, I was just shopping for something else. And I was not prepared to do that. I knew about the sale because I saw it in the paper before I left. But I did. I said, well, I'll just wait until the next day to do that. Well, what I didn't do was I never looked on the ad itself. I don't have one right now. Uh, CVS ad. Do I have a CVS paper? Oh, yes, I do. Here's one. Okay. This is actually a CVS paper from next week. But up here it tells you when your sale is going to end. Well, I never looked. And didn't realize that the sale ended Wednesday. Here I am yesterday getting my stuff all ready and happened to look at the top of the, the insert and it ended Wednesday. I was too through. So no, I did not get none of that extra bucks rewards. That's a rookie mistake. I, I've been couponing now in, 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 you know, passionately for about three years. And I still make stupid mistakes, and that's one of them. And I vow next year not to make one like that. So from now on, I always have to sh circle here so I know when the sale is going to end. Yeah. I got my, I got my, so, no, I don't want to talk about it no more. Anyway, uh, having said that, those of you who live within the shadow of a shop right, and that's in the northeast from Maryland up, and I, think they may, I don't know if they have one in Virginia. But they have in Maryland and New Jersey and like that. Hey, they extended their double dollar coupons to the end of December. I'm so glad. I was sitting here. I got up early this morning to get my uh, shopping list ready and found out that they're going to extend the double coupons until Saturday, December the 28th. I'm hoping they make it permanent. Obviously, it must be doing some good because this is the third time they've extended it. I'm just hoping they just keep on doing it. Just, just extend it and extend it big forever. Okay. Having said that, I realize that I'm, I keep making stupid rookie mistakes. And I call them rookie mistakes. Those are the things that people do when they just start out couponing. And some of the things I still do like I shouldn't. And so that led me to my 20 item... Can you see this? 20 New Year's coupon resolutions for 2014. 20 of them. I'm going to make a video of all of them so it'll all be in one place. And you won't have to listen to all this gibberish before and afterwards. But I'll give you just a, I'll just give you a preview of my first five. Okay? Eat before I shop. I resolve to always eat before I shop. I never go shopping hungry. Before I made that resolution, because I do that now, I don't. I make sure I'm not hungry. I used to go in there, and as I'm walking in the door, passing the Twinkies, Hostess Twinkies, and everybody know I could inject orange Hostess Twinkies in my veins if I could. And I would just load up on those. And they were very rarely on sale. And I mean, you know, so anyway, I don't do that anymore. Never shop without a list. Oh, Lord, here I go. You got to have a list. You just got to. And I got to make sure that um, I shop with a list. 
and and having your coupons all nicely organized that is not a list you got to have a list written down that you're following and checking off and making notations on so you can say if you need a rain check stuff like that you gotta have a list never clear the shelves now I don't clear this well okay and then then I, I did but it was only when I had to do stuff for church and I needed them all but I try to leave at least one or two on the shelf yeah but I'm, t I'm about sick of going to the shelves and everything is gone okay shop early in the morning rather than late at night except at CVS well I need to shop early in the morning because that gives me the best way to get uh, items after the shelves have been restocked the night before and if I go late at night I got to be walking around the boxes and they haven't taken the stuff out the box and I can be asking somebody to come reach out with so I need to shop early in the morning plus it's safer for little old ladies okay I'm only five feet tall so I need to um, be careful about where I go after the sun is down except the CVS because the only way I can get in on the deal beforehand is to go late at night now I pick my CVS I go to I only go to the one that's got bright lights um, and I, I sit in my car until I see a bunch of people getting ready to go in I, I'm right on the front row and then I go in and then after I do everything I come out with a bunch of other people and then get in my car and I call my husband to let him know I'm on my way a lot of times he goes with me especially if I'm organized I tell him baby I'm only getting two things then he'll go with me but um, I try to be very careful and conscious about where I go shopping uh, after hours then Walk the aisles before shopping to look for unadvertised sales and manager specials. That's my number five. Always, if if you don't have time the day you're gonna go shopping, go the day before. You know, go at the beginning of the sales cycle and walk through the stores to see what manager specials. Those you never you are never gonna see a manager special in here. You're not gonna see manager specials in here, in your regular uh, CVS thing. You'll see them. And a little off-color tag on the front of something that they run out of, or they're not going to have anymore. And um, well, there's the expiration date may be coming close to it, whatever it is. And that's where you find your manager specials. Those are also there are also unadvertised specials. Any special that is not listed in the circular, it's an unadvertised special. So walk the stores and make a notation of that. Those are my five of my 20 New Year's coupon resolutions for 2014. And uh, I may end up with 25. I'm really aiming for 100, but I don't think nobody wants to listen to 100 of me, so. So, anyway, that's it. I'm getting ready to make my list so I can go shopping. And I think I'm going to go to ShopRite because I have a lot of great coupons for ShopRite. And I'm going to make my list. And anything that I don't have on the list, I'm not going to buy. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. And if it goes, I hope you had a very thank, very happy Thanksgiving, and you have a lot of things to be thankful for that you don't even realize you're being thankful for. And the Lord is blessing you, even when it don't feel like you're being blessed sometimes, because He told you no when you really wanted it. And sometimes the answer is not no; it's later, or not now, or you don't need that. So this is Sharon the Busy Coupon Bee. Happy couponing! Bye bye. I did all that and...